Hey everybody, um, I decided to do a quick review of Private Firewall. Now I know this is a firewall, but it also has um, a process monitor, an applications monitor. Um, so it's got, basically it's like a HIPS built in. And if you read their web page, um, it says that it can take care of malware and um, all sorts of different uh, malicious uh, components so I decided just to give it a give it a quick rundown here see what it can do if you go uh, right here behavior based monitoring and defense it detects blocks and quarantines of known malware hacking phishing and other types of threats so I decided you know let's see what it can do if they say it can do all that then it should there should be no problems with it right so these are the same links uh, that I used in the A squared review. And let's get going. Okay, here we go. So we got says that process whatever it says block this application it doesn't say really what it's trying to do here it's been blocked rule based alert or injection okay potential network traffic so we will block that okay so that's good also does this stuff automatically but this is, I really want to see how it does here now I know this isn't a um, it doesn't have signatures or anything like that but what I'm trying to see here is if, if it prevents infection and to me that's the most important thing so as long as if nothing shows up in memory and can't run. I know that's a bad link from last time. Then it's done its job, right? If we go to details here, protected uh, registry area, so we'll block that. It's a lot of things to block. Then also go and try to install um, some some good applications to see if it's got a whitelist or anything like that, or if it just responds like this to everything. Because if it responds like this to everything, like we're doing now, then usability is not good and you would I'd consider this program more for expert users not everyday people this is also the same problem that uh, a lot of, of uh, Komodo was having very good security program but um, not usable because it wasn't usable you could, uh, you wouldn't consider it an everyday product for regular users. It would be for advanced users only. Alright, let's try the last one here. Okay, so that's all done. Let's just see if we have anything running around in memory here. do see this bot one that's sitting in in RAM so whatever that is didn't get blocked
about the only thing I do see. Oh, there it is. Now it's trying to do something. Uh, it's still there, though. It hasn't killed it yet. Alright, so let's see if we can go and kill it from inside. Okay, you can see all these things. Okay, that's just about, that's only to remove the settings. So everything's in there. So let's, um, let's download Hitman Pro. And I'll be right back after that downloads. See you in a second. And here you go, I can show you that uh, when it, even when installing Hitman Pro, it's uh, asking to do things. So I don't see, I don't think it has mm, too big of a white list. Uh, it might, but I, haven't, I didn't see anything. Okay, see, that's just me allowing it right there. But I don't see any white list or anything in here. It might have one. I could be totally wrong. So I haven't used a uh, private firewall too much. I used it a little bit ago. So um, I'll be right back when this is done scanning. And there we go again. Another quick thing here while I noticed, um, under these trust as publisher, when I ran the installer and stuff, some of these files, I guess, are unsigned, um, which kind of stinks, especially those temp files that are getting created. So you kind of get asked questions a lot here. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I decided to run, I did find a lot of things, but I'm going to run Malwarebytes first, see what it finds, remove what it finds, and then run Hitman Pro. So I'll be right back after that's done, after Malwarebytes is done scanning. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes finished scanning here, and it found three things. Okay, let's see what it found here. So it did find that process in memory, that bot one right there. And it also found a registry key change right there. So that's not good that the regist some of the registry got changed. Uh, something uh, was trying to add a run command on startup, what it looks like to me. So let's uh, remove those. And let's do another scan, but I guarantee you that you'll see exactly what happened. It, we'll find all these things uh, from last time. So, Private Firewall um, actually did a pretty good job keeping things out. It didn't let the system get infected, um, but don't expect to run it by itself. You need an antivirus solution to back it up. Um, I also would like to see something in Process Monitor here, so I can right-click and terminate a process. I don't see that anywhere. It says Remove Application, but that's just to remove it from there and there. Okay, so there you go. Um, because this is a trusted vendor, you can actually trust this vendor, and it automatically allows it to. Uh, what else am I seeing here that I could comment on? So here's all this malware and stuff that I did download, and it's all in temporary internet files, other than this one. This is in the drivers. Ooh, that's not a good thing right there. Um, might be a rootkit. It's Trojan, though, so but still not in a good place where it should be. Uh, let's see if it... doesn't look like this uh, threw up anything on it because I don't see the name anywhere and I can't sort that's something I'd like to see get taken care of so it looks like we got one thing that get uh, snuck by right there and that might be a big a big big thing all right so I'll uh, leave it as it is now um, got guys how it operates and I uh, recommended some improvements and um, I'm not going to pass judgment on this right now until I see some more usage on it. That's it for now everybody. Uh, take care. Have a good night.